Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Nate and this is Good Morning Liberty. Um, don't have a whole lot to talk about today. Let me adjust this camera real quick. If you hear stuff rumbling around in the background, that's my wife, Lacey. Lacey, say hi. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Guys, it's gonna be a good weekend. Hope everyone's gonna have a good time. Do you know why it's gonna be a good weekend here in Nashville? Because this is Nashville's tax-free weekend. That's a big deal tax-free weekend. Here in Nashville, you get to come down and buy all kinds of, I think it's school supplies, right babe? Um, but then a lot of other businesses do different kinds of deals, clothes, things like that. I've heard commercials for furniture stores saying they're going to pay the tax for you and, and car dealerships saying that they're going to pay the tax for you. Car dealerships, babe. And um, anyway, so it's a big deal right here. You can come, people come from all over hundreds of millions of dollars get spent here in town. And what I love about this is this is a government admitting that to stimulate their economy for the weekend, they need to stop taxing people. And I think it's really great. A lot of people also love the weekend. And I'm, I guarantee you it's more than the percentage of people that would say you need to get rid of taxes. Because if you were to ask a lot of people, they'd probably be like, oh, no, no, we have to have them. But I guarantee you a bunch of them are going to go shopping this weekend because there's no taxes. Uh, that's the main point I'm making today. I've never been a big fan of taxation. Baby, you like taxation? No. What would you say it, it is? Theft. <laughs> there we go. Um, it's pretty simple. You shouldn't take people's stuff. Uh, whenever I work and I make money, I should be able to do what I want with that money. Um, whenever a business has a product that they want to sell, uh, they should be able to sell that product and not worry about more money. When I want to buy something, um, I don't think that there should be an additional fee added on to it because um, that's still just taking more of my money. So just a principal thing, I'm not going to talk about, oh, what would we do if we didn't have taxes? We're not going to go down that whole road today. Got some lens flares back here. It's pretty cool. A little J.J. Abrams action going on. Um, I'm not going to talk about what are we going to do about the roads and stuff like that today. Um, that's, that's a lot longer video. But principally, I think we could all agree that it's not right to take people's stuff without their permission. And stuff, in my opinion, could include money because that's one of the most important things in every one of our lives. Thank you so much. This week has been a really big week. We have gone from one like all the way up to 150 likes. That's, a, that's great. Everyone, this is the ground floor of this and it's going really well so far. Uh, we're getting comments, we're getting tons of shares, all kinds of stuff. We're getting some engaging messages in our inbox. Um, if any of you that watch every day have any topics that you want me or, uh, or Charlie to talk about, yeah, Charlie Thompson's going to be doing some videos as well. If you have any topics that you would like us to talk about, comment on this video or send us a message in the inbox. Uh, share the show. That's, it's a really, really big deal for us. If you think what we're talking about is important, then share, go down the Facebook page, you know, maybe not this video per se, but go down the Facebook page. We talked about healthcare, we've talked about CEO pay, we've talked about all kinds of important things this week. So if you think one of those videos is important, we would appreciate some comments on it, um, a share, something like that, and it's going to help us go a long way towards growing our audience. It, it'll be great. Uh, I do things on here, if, if this is your first time watching, I do things like this every day. Um, people talk about CEO pay. It's a, a really big deal. If you were to go on to a Bernie Sanders post, and people are talking about CEO pay. Um, the CEO of Walmart makes 22, CEO of Walmart makes $22 million a year. So this is just an example of something I would do on here. The CEO of Walmart makes $22 million a year and everyone says, well, if they can afford to pay him that much money, then they can afford to give their workers a raise. I'm gonna show you how small that number is because Walmart has 2.5 million employees. No one really ever thinks about that. The whiteboard is out. No one really ever thinks about that. Walmart has 2.5 million employees. 
Now they're saying that since the CEO gets paid $22 million a year, that they can afford to pay their workers more money. What's really interesting about that is if those 2.5 million employees averaged 20 hours a week, just 20 hours a week, because some of them, you know, they're not all working all the time, but if they average 20 hours a week for the entire year, then that's actually gonna be around 1,040 hours per year that each employee is going to make. And that comes out to 2.6 billion hours. 2.6 billion hours that Walmart is going to have to pay for for each one of those. So they're going to pay 2.6 billion hours. Now remember, you just said that the CEO makes $22 million a year, so that means they can afford to pay their workers more money. This 2.6 billion hours right here equates to what happens if they raise their pay by one dollar one dollar an hour it costs them 2.6 billion dollars to do that one dollar and you want them to raise it way more than that it it will cost them 2.6 billion dollars every single time they raise their pay by one hour this guy's making 22 million dollars $22 million a year. And you think that since he makes that, that that means they can afford to pay their workers more money. Doesn't really make a ton of sense. Now, if you want everyone to be raised up to $15 an hour, this is the other really cool thing. If you want everyone to be raised up to $15 an hour, that's an average of four more dollars per worker because they pay everyone $11 an hour. Four more dollars an hour per worker puts them at, what is that, a 11, 12 billion dollars almost, something like that. Carry the one, 11 billion. Let's just say it's 11 billion dollars that would cost them. 11 billion with a B. You're thinking, well that's okay because Walmart makes whatever you think they make every single year. Do you know what Walmart's profit was last year? Their net profit after paying people out. Their net profit was nine billion last year. Meaning that they actually don't make enough money. Walmart does not make enough money to pay their workers $15 an hour. They operate on a 2% 2% profit margin. Of all the sales they do, they profit 2% off of it. Do you see how important it is to find the guy, this little bitty $22 million a year, to find the guy that could be the difference between them profiting and them losing $9 billion. Those little percentage points right there. That is just an example of stuff that we do on this show. I like finding little things that people like to spout off about on Facebook without ever doing any kind of math whatsoever. No one gets a calculator out. It's on your phone, people. Calculator. Use it. Not that hard. All of that's public information, the amount of, uh, the amount of workers that they have. I trade stocks every day and I pay attention to the actual, I pay attention to the little bitty details of every company. Um, that's all I'm going to do today. Guys, share the show. Have a great weekend. If you're in Nashville, have a great tax-free weekend. And think about the fact that the government is doing a tax-free weekend to stimulate local businesses and give people a break. What are they admitting whenever they do that? See you guys.